We're not going to spend a lot of time on resonance structures, but I do want you to know what they are. They're the same layout of atoms, but different layout of electrons. A true representation of the bonding cannot be drawn with a single Lewis structure. And so we must draw more than one Lewis structure to represent the bonding. Let me show you what I mean by that. So the true representation of the bonding is an average over all Lewis structures or all resonance structures. So is an average over all resonance structures. And I'll probably have more to say after I do this example here. Let's come back to our carbonate that we already did. Carbonate, if you remember, had this as its Lewis structure, except, that, wait, wait, sorry, this is not a Lewis structure. Lewis structures must always have all the electrons drawn. So let me draw in my electrons, big enough so that you can see them all. And our brackets in charge. So that is a Lewis structure uh, for carbonate ion. Now, how does it become a resonance structure? Well, I'll draw what's called resonance arrows, although you don't have to, but that's typically what these are. So uh, single with a head on both ends. Now, we put the double bond here. We could have put the double bond in either of these two other places, and that's what you do when you draw resonance structures. So resonance structures, when you draw resonance structures, you draw all possible equivalent positions of the double bond. Draw all possible equivalent positions of the double bond. And what you'll see is that this is an introduction to resonance and that what I'm telling you is correct. However, resonance gets more complicated as you advance through more chemistry courses. So draw all the possible equivalent positions. That means that there could have been a double bond here, but that requires that there has to be a single bond over here. So now, That's going to be the basis for one of my resonance structures. And then I could also have drawn the double bond down here. You'll note that all of these only have one double bond. It's like the double bond is moving around. But you'll also notice that all I draw all of the oxygens and the carbons in the same relative positions. The positions of the atoms don't change. Positions of atoms don't change because you, can, you can't tell where the, if you, if you move the atoms and the electrons, then it gets very hard to follow. So now O, C, O, double bond O, and I have to finish these because they need to have all their electrons in them before they become Lewis structures. And resonance structures are one particular type of Lewis structures. And I have to be careful that I don't talk too much and distract myself from drawing my dots. There we go. And then, so I gotta have that brackets in charge. So these are three Lewis, sorry, three resonance structures and you can see that um, one of the examples we did in the lecture notes for ozone, O3, will also have something similar going on. Um, now, what does this mean? So if I circle one bond in all my resonance structures, so circle one bond, or circle the same bond, in all resonance structures. Uh, 
colon. So I'm going to circle this one right here. And that's another reason why it's important to position that the position of your atoms don't change. You'll note that I have circled one, two, three, four bonds. And there are only three resonance structures. And yes, I'm running out of green ink. And so uh, what we would say is that this bond that I've just circled is somewhere between a single and a double bond. And what we would actually call it is we would call it a four thirds bond. Meaning a single bond would be one, a double bond would be two, and this is somewhere between them. And then if we do the same thing for the other ones, we'd have one, two, three, four. What we see is that all of these bonds are four-thirds bonds. So four-thirds bond for all carbon-oxygen bonds. in carbonate. So all of these bonds are not different. All of these bonds are the same. And draw an arrow up to the top of the page and write all of these carbon oxygen bonds are exactly the same. And I'll be looking for that.